Jessica, Joe Cook here in a sports seat for you this evening on a hump day. Hope your day has been going well. Now let's talk some sports. Even a long delay didn't throw off the Gold Panthers last night as they faced the Anchorage Bucks in their ABL tournament opener. The Glacier Pilots and Matsu Miners went 11 innings and the Miners came away with an 8-7 win before the Panthers could take the field. When they did, the Panthers got a 4-1 win over the Bucks. Less means more. The Panthers only had two hits and won the game, scoring at least a run in the bottom of the second, third, and fourth innings. They gave up six hits, six hits, but allowed one score. Drew Matrician got the win, allowing one run on his six hits. Matt Milky was in the zone in four and two third innings of work. Milky tossed eight Ks, no hits or walks, and got the save. David Edwards had an RBI single to lead the Panthers. Two errors by the Bucks turned into runs for the Gold Panthers, who had seven stolen bases in the win. Their calling card. Now, next up are those Miners. The team Alaska beat to win the ABL regular season title. The Miners have been in back-to-back -back extra inning games, so they could be a bit worn down. Two of the best offensive teams will be going at it, but the Panthers have some pitching. A.J. Simcox and Christian Stewart are arguably the top hitters in the ABL. Simcox is hitting 356 tops in the ABL, and Stewart leads the league with 31 RBIs and is tied with David Edwards with five homers, but the Panthers have a staff. Pitcher Nathan Bannister is 6-0, best in the ABL with a 2.25 ERA, and Cody Moffitt, 0.76 ERA, is second in the league. Michael Ramirez is 4-1, and Kevin Spray has nine saves to lead the ABL. The Myers and Panthers meet at 9 tonight in McCoyhee Stadium. Today, it was revealed that one of our local sports icons who passed away will be honored by the Alaska High School Hall of Fame. Joy, Joe Tremorello will be inducted in the Alaskan High School Hall of Fame. Coach T was a former Nanak basketball captain in the 50s who led his team to the program's first win over a college opponent. Coach T was also Coach of the Year in 1991 during his four-year tenure coaching the women's basketball team. Joe T was part of the inaugural Alaska Nanak Hall of Fame 2008 class as well. Tremorello coached the Malamutes to a boys state title in 1964 and became an assistant coach for over 25 years. He passed away last September at the age of 77. Joe Tremorello joins Roger Nellis, Ed Balhus Jr., Mia Costello, Catherine Rhodes, Ron Gleason, Chuck White, and Steve Ivanoff in this year's Hall of Fame class. The induction ceremony is Sunday at the Millennium Alaskan Hotel in Anchorage at 5 p.m. And speaking of Hall of Fames, the Alaskan Annex recently announced their four-member Hall of Fame class for 2013. Jamie Byerly Gray, a former Nanak rifler and NCAA champion from 2002 through 2006, won the gold in the 2012 London Olympics in 50-meter three position and set two Olympic records. Carl Benson was an All-American swimmer in the mid-80s, setting two varsity records at the 1986 NCAA, NCAA championship and will enter the Hoff. Mike Curtin, or MC, who has been the head athletic trainer and strength and conditioning coach at UAF for over a decade will be inducted for his contributions as well. And closing out the class is Dr. Kerry S. Keller. Keller has been the team physician for over 20 years and has been a philanthropist to UAF as well. He also has a scholarship in his name. Keller helped develop Alaska's policy on student athlete concussions as a part of the ASAA Sports Medicine Advisory Committee. The induction ceremony will be September 28th in the Wood Center Ballroom on UAF's campus. It's always good to support a good cause with your time or money when you're able, but I never thought I'd be supporting a group this way. Yeah, that's me displaying my little twinkle toes, if you will. My partner, my partner and I, Amanda Donahue, will be performing on August 9th at the Tanana Valley State Fair in Dancing with the Fairbanks Stars. This is a very physical routine, and as a former athlete, I have a new appreciation for those who dance. Now I'm doing all this to support the Lathrop High School Dance Group. This is a fundraising event for them. Funds help the students receive training from world-class choreographers and professional costumes as well as travel expenses. Their season is from September to March. This dance group gets about 25 kids per year from all of the Fairbanks high schools. I was next in line for KTVF personalities. If you remember, Daryl Lewis and Stephanie Woodard also participated in this event. Now, if you want to help Amanda and I win, come on out on August 9th to vote for us and put a little change in the pot under our names. You can also make a donation by making a checkout to the Lathrop Ballroom Dance Team. I'll have more info on our performance times as the date nears. It'll be something to see, trust me. <laughs> and that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. Stay cool, Alaska. Your full weather forecast is coming up next, and we'll catch you next time.